Age is a barrier if you decide to make it one. If you decide that you are too old to study mathematics, too old to learn physics, too old to go to college, too old to apply for that job that you really want, then you're too old. But the key is you can make the decision. You can choose to say, hey, I'm not too old. I can do this. Because you know what? You only have one option. And that's right now. That's the only thing you can control are your actions right now. You can't control the past. You can't control the future. All you have is the present. And I think when you realize that, and you realize that age is just some barrier that oftentimes people use as an excuse, which it's okay to make excuses, but people often think they are too old. And let me just start by saying you are not too old to do whatever it is you want to do in life. But this video is more specifically about mathematics. In fact, the title of this video, Math as a Senior Citizen, is the title of, or the subject, uh, of an email I received from a long-term subscriber here on the channel. His name is Jose, and I will read part uh, of his email. It's, it's really quite interesting. He was able to do really well in math despite having a very bad background, and now he's doing a ton of self-study, which, which is awesome, and he has goals to learn some really cool math subjects, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. But let me just start by emphasizing that it is never too late, right? It is never too late. Math as a senior citizen. Hello, math sorcerer. My name is Jose. I've been subscribed to your channel for a couple of years. I always enjoy your videos. Your video, Can Older People Learn Math, has inspired me to write to you. I'm 77 years old, was born in Cuba. My family left Cuba for Spain in 1960 when I was 13 years old. The last school class I attended was seventh grade. I never had any algebra or physics in school. While living in Spain, my sole interest was music and I graduated from the Royal Conservatory of Music in Madrid. No other schooling whatsoever. At age 18, my family moved to Florida. I learned some English, enough to get a GED diploma at age 21, because I wanted to attend college and get a college degree in music. How was I able to obtain the GED diploma in what was to me a foreign language and with only a seventh grade education? And then he goes on to explain that he read Time Magazine and watched the Joey Bishop show on TV. And then he starts talking about math. It's a very long email, but the key point is that he is 77 years old and he says this, if you have read this far, I must thank you for your patience. I want to keep learning. If I live long enough, my goal in math is to learn vector calculus, abstract algebra, and all the way to topology. In physics, to learn at least up to quantum mechanics. Best regards and keep up the good work with your inspiring channels. Jose, and he has his full name, but I will not, I will not uh, say his full name, just leave his first name. Um, so thank you, Jose, for your message. It's, it's a really good email. I didn't read the whole email because um, it's quite long. Jose talks about how he prefers new textbooks for self-study, uh, particularly the ones by Larson, and he has other books he mentions. Um, but the point is that it doesn't matter how old you are, right? You can always keep learning. I remember when I was a student in college, I was 24 when I started, and I thought I was old because I was 24. And my classmates were 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, a lot of them were younger. So I felt like I was the older guy, but here I am 24, year old, 24 years old thinking I'm the older guy. So it's all a matter of perspective and it's all really just up here in some sense, right? Now, when you, when you do get older, sometimes uh, it becomes harder, I think, to focus for long periods of time. And this is just things I've heard from people who are much, much older. Uh, I spoke to uh, a famous mathematician once. I don't know if he's, if he's still alive. Uh, he was a French man, he was from France. France. And he uh, did complex analysis. And he told me that when he was younger, you know, he, he could spend you know, hours at the library. He'd be there all day, pouring over books, looking for ideas, trying to figure out, you know, how to prove something or, you know, how, how can, you know, he get something proven, you know, some, just really learning, trying to figure something out, trying to prove something or discover something. And he could do that all day. But in his older age, he could only spend, you know, just a few hours. I think he said like four or five hours. I always forget. It was, it was quite a bit of time. And when he said that, I thought, wow, wow, this guy can still grind four to five hours. And I, I think he might have been older than Jose. I think he was older than 77, this man. I mean, he was, he was up there. And yeah, yeah, years of mathematics and still at it, still at it. So it is never too late. And this really applies, again, for anything, right? Not just math, but learning physics, applying for jobs. If there's something you want to do, try not to create mental barriers like age because you can't change your age right so focus on the things that that you can control right for example if you're trying to learn math get a calculus book right check out the link uh, in the description of this video I've got an eBay store sometimes I have some books there remember it's never too late it doesn't matter how old you are and if you think you're too old to do something then what will probably happen is you will never do that thing because again, you have this, this barrier that you've created. So try to let that go. And you know, there's countless stories, countless stories of people who are older who have been extremely successful. I remember I had a student once in, in a class. Um, I, I asked the class, you know, hey, has it been a while since, uh, has it been a while for anyone here, you know, since you've had some math? And someone said, oh, it's been about five years since I've had math. One person's like, oh, two years. Oh, it's been about a semester or two, so I'm really rusty. And one guy raises his hand and said, yes, yes, you, sir. He was sitting in the front. And he, and he says, 30 years. And I said, 30 years. His name was Alfred, um, like the butler from Batman. And he, he, he kind of, I'm not saying he looked like Alfred, but I mean, you, you, you could make the case. Um, but yeah, 30 years. And he did well, right? He did well. So I'm pretty sure he got his degree and uh, all of that stuff. So it's never too late. Subscribe, like, share, check out my courses. Links are in the description. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, uh, please use the links from the description of this video because I've lowered the prices. As always, keep doing mathematics. And remember, you are never too old. Go for it.